Okay, what up ladies and gents, it's your favorite Asian robot right here, and we are live right now with some more Helldivers. We have just uh, finished the first major order, and there's more that is coming up, so let's take a look. Okay. Posted. Not a tweet. There we are. Good. Tweeting is done. Hello, TH. Yeah, new major order already. We gotta, we gotta get it done. We gotta get it done. But first, I gotta set up my phone. Hey, Daza, what's up? Of course, I love to type because the first thing I gotta do is tweet. Don't you know? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be typing if I didn't have to tweet. Gotta make sure people know. That I'm here. Morning. Stream yesterday was very good. Had a very good time. Every mission of course, brings us um, one step closer to the full like literal quick summary is just that. Universe. Oh god, general, stop interrupting me. But yeah, basically, there's no difference to the meta loadouts. The meta loadouts are still functioning just fine. Hey, Lady Neo, how's it going? Um, there are. I've heard some disturbing information that. Several YouTubers, well known for buying views on their content, have claimed that the Quasar is now the best weapon in the game, most OP and all that. Um, I would love for them to shove it where the sun don't shine because realistically speaking, the Quasar is far from that. It has a 10 second cooldown in between uses and a actual charge. Um, so... One thing, look, I'm not one to feed into drama. You guys know that I stay away from other YouTubers, but considering how highly viewed some of these videos are, I just want to state openly that, look, a lot of these people do buy views. They do it because they won't get caught. And it's hard to prove that they're buying views because YouTube algorithm can favor some people, but I'm not going to call them out. My channel is not a drama channel. I leave it to the viewers to decide for themselves, okay? You guys use your brains and think about it. If these guys were legit, then they could prove their shit on stream like I do. Because I, I'm live every day. So, you know, I, I want these people to prove it live. Okay, they can go prove it live to you guys if they want to. I'm, I'm going to stay away from that. I'm going to do my job. And I'm going to show you the reality of the weapons. The Quasar is decent. The thing people need to realize is that the Quasar takes over the role of the EAT. It is not the same as the EAT, but it, it has the same function and the same role. So if you're the guy that is designed to shoot down dropships or you're designated as the anti-heavy guy, okay, use the Quasar. It has about a 10 second cooldown, but you can one shot a Hulk if you hit the head. You can take out dropships, you can take out tanks, you can take out turrets at a distance, all that kind of stuff. You can do all of this and it's true. But does it replace something like the auto cannon? Not exactly. Not exactly. The auto cannon will always be one of the most efficient weapons against the automatons because it's, you have, simply put, it doesn't have a 10 second cooldown before you can fire again. So realistically speaking, you can pop several devastators in a row, reload in between and pop some more, which makes it really strong. I don't know why people hate Truce. It's okay. Truce is done already. Uh, the major order is clear. Now we have to liberate Tibbet. Um, so what am I? Hey, Nightshade, what's up? What am I actually gonna do? And Lady Neo, welcome, welcome to Hell Divers too. Right? I hope you'll enjoy, enjoy anyway. You know. Um, 
we're, we're discussing the current global war uh, in Helldivers. I mean, we don't care about real life global wars. No, we care about Helldivers wars. Um, we're, we're deciding where to go next. So uh, I'm actually taking a look at the attack map. Um, and I'm going to see where our next big thing is. Because I believe that in order to get to Tibet, all we need to liberate is Ubanea. Because Tibet can be accessed uh, pretty much by anything. So, yeah, it's just by Ubanea. So, realistically, we don't even need to liberate Malevolent Creek. There seem to be a lot of players on Malevolent Creek, but realistically speaking, we can do this after the major order is done. We have about three days to do this, so we should easily clear Ubanea and then Tibet. So, yeah, I think it's going to be easy. Yeah, Tibet is basically free medals at this point. Um, if we're going to read the actual information about this, we've got the Arsenal expansion notice. Um, Operation Swift Disassembly Phase 1 was completed. The Automaton Comms Array on Troost has been decommissioned. Strangely, it appears to have been broadcasting outside the galactic frontier. Analysts are working to determine more. However, we did discover a transmission containing blueprints for a new automaton type, aerial gunships. With this advance warning, our hard-working factory laborers have been instructed to accelerate production of our most effective anti-air weaponry. So we're probably going to get new weapons soon, and the automatons are definitely going to get a new enemy soon. Um, Operation Swift Disassembly Phase 2. Reduce non-sentient combatant proto production. Intel analysis have been ident have identified the planet Tibet as the most significant producer of illegal automaton combatants. Liberating this planet would significantly impact the enemy's capacity to replenish and decomm decommission socialists. It would also further limit the theft of the planet's natural resources from future generations of arguably sentient of inarguably sentient humans. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. You request Pelican 1 to be called a stratagem, it's not, and you know it isn't. Alright, so, basically, in summary, what's going to happen is that if we do not do this, the enemy is going to get their aerial weapons faster. If we do this, we are going to get, we're probably going to end up getting our anti-air weapons faster, so that's going to happen soon. So it's going to be really interesting. I don't think the bots were calling the Illuminate, but, quite frankly, um... We are, like, I believe this next phase is going to be very interesting. They seem to really want to release um, our weapons. So I think it's going to be really cool what they do and, and, and them releasing all the weapons. Hey, no problem, Matt. I'm always here to help. I'm always here to help people. Sorry, just quickly replying to my auntie. She asked if I want a neck fan. I said I, I don't use my current one. So, and the weather's getting colder now. What's the lore of the Illuminati? Uh, <laughs> well, that's the actual Illuminati, Crispy. But the Illuminate are AR squid aliens. You, you'll see them soon. You got Thanks for the gifted tonight, membership, you? Nightshade. You Here's should welcome for you. them home. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate that. Have I tested the explosive AR on the bots? Um, yes, and I did not get good results with it. If you have it, why don't you try it out, Daza? And you let me know if you can get good results, because I haven't been able to get any good results with it. And again, there is no way that I would use it when the sickle exists. Because the sickle does everything that, um, that does, but better. We can take a look Hello, before robot. I even go in. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Because I don't have anybody with me at the moment. Um, if any, and if, of course, if any of our members of the appropriate rank wish to join me tonight, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just run with randoms. But the Liberator Concussive, although it says it's explosive here, um, it is still light armor penetrating, and I don't believe it does a lot. Um, the explosion is also very, very minimal, so I'm very doubtful that it will penetrate through the scout rider to hit the uh, enemy in the back. Unlike the plasma and scorcher, because I can't even kill myself with the with the liberator concussive. Ah, oh, Death Donnie, you don't have to do that. Thank you so much. 
You got a new member tonight, didn't you? Here's a lovely salute for you, my you friend. Should welcome them home. How's it hanging today? You got a new member tonight, didn't you? You should welcome hmm. them home. I'm looking forward to what they have in store for us, Don Magix. Now, you, got a new member you guys tonight, will uh, get you? to hear that alert spam for a little you while. Should welcome <laughs> Does anyone know when the new Warbond is out? Not yet. They'll probably have you a trailer a before it comes tonight, out. Didn't you? You should welcome them home. I guesstimate that it'll be a new Warbond every, say, you got a new member one tonight, month you? to 1.5 months. You should I don't them want home. them to do more than that because, quite frankly, having too many Warbonds fast is not really going to help. So... I think it would be way better if they just focus up on fixing the bugs first and then slowly release the content because I'm honestly I'm worried about them because they release too much content people are gonna expect a super fast update pace and they cannot keep that up forever unless they're gonna hire like an extra entire workforce and just spam updates at us you got a is always cooking, tonight man. didn't you you should welcome them home you got a new member tonight, the galactic didn't you? War waits for no one. You should welcome Are you them ready, home. Helldiver? I love hearing that alert go off multiple times. Okay. You got a um, new member tonight, didn't you? Probably leaving Troost. You should welcome them home. Let's head to Ubinea. You got mm -hmm. a new member tonight, didn't you? You should welcome them home. I definitely, I definitely agree with fixing problems before dropping new content. And quite frankly, like I said, I don't want them to break themselves over new content. They're already dropping so much new content so often that they need to cool it. Now, I actually think they need to cool it, you know, and space out their war bonds a little bit. Um, of course, for those of us who are frequent players, we'll complete new war bonds really frequently. So I, I, I think that definitely, like, eventually, the new players in the game are going to be so overwhelmed because there'll be like dozens of war bonds. But um, yeah, for for us experienced players, we will have every war bond completed like pretty much on the day it drops. But even then that's okay, you know, that's how it's meant to be. And realistically speaking, you know, I don't mind if we if they take a little while on content. I know Death Dawning, such a shame. Hope it comes to Xbox for you guys. Every second Tuesday of the month, if it's genuinely every second Tuesday of the month, that's gonna be crazy, I hope not. Because, yeah, they need to they need to slow down, fix their stuff slowly, and relax. Where do they drop the trailers? Usually IGN or one of the press outlets will handle it. Then after that, we get to see it. Um, although sometimes they do make some stupid judgments about stuff. But hey, it's IGN. I, don't, I take them with a grain of salt. I make my own judgments once the weapons are actually in the game. That's how a lot of devs do it, except they charge $9.99 for every skin. That's why I have stopped paying for stuff. Hey, Don Magix decided to come up to the honored level. What up, man? Now, here's a salute for you, pal. Thank you very much for joining our little family. Now listen, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the community section of my channel, right? You'll be able to now see a post that you only got a new channel tonight, members can see. You? So from that you post, welcome them home. leave your Discord name. All right, you leave your Discord name in that post under the community section, and I'll add you to Discord. Um, we have a waiting period for Honored uh, members because Honored Robot is the minimum to play games with us. We have a waiting period of about six to seven days, all right? Um, this is to ensure that, you know, because uh, some trolls, they'll just buy the membership to come in and start uh, causing havoc. I'm sure you're not, but we still impose this waiting period regardless because our Discord is our family space. So um, after about four to five days waiting period, you'll be allowed in and then you'll be able to fully join us. So. Don't forget to leave me your Discord name. That's very important so that I can add you to my friends list today. All right? And off we go from there. So welcome to the fam. I look forward to playing with you soon. Helldivers 1 started like this, so it's going to get bigger a lot faster. I look forward to it, man. Overload of nerdgasm for sure. Overload of nerdgasm for sure. Like I said, this is a game that deserves it. This is a game that deserves any monetization that it puts into the game because of the fact that you can earn it free many games don't do that and that's why i'm loving this game right now because they are ready to pop and i respect that i respect that i hope they hire more devs to keep up with their update pace i don't want to burn themselves out you know what i'm saying because there i know of some studios that are really really slow on update content and when, when things get fast you got to keep up the momentum or else you're going to lose all your players All right, now, 
We're, um, like I said, I've actually just reviewed the supply lines already, so for those that don't know and want a little bit of a catch-up, we're going to have to we're capture Tibet. This is our new major order. Um, all we have to do is take Ubenea, and then we're straight on to Tibet. The reason for this is that the they are developing uh, aerial assault units, so things are about to get pretty complex, and that's why they dropped us the Quasar, I think, because the Quasar is going to become a centerpiece to most loadouts. Somebody's going to have to bring along a Quasar, because the new dropships, the sort the new literal aerial vehicles that these guys have is probably going to be problematic. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that's handled. Yeah, honestly, I don't mind them slowing down, Frank, but we'll see how it goes. All right, for now, I am going to I'm going to get started on Ubenea, as you know. Um, what I like to do is I like to control my own operations, so I will be starting off. And let's see, what are the effects here? Stratagem cooldown 50%. Uh, is this a blitz? If it's a blitz, that's at least acceptable. Initiating FTL jump to the Ubenea system. All right, let's head to Ubenea and start causing some havoc. <sighs> jump complete. Mission coordinates locked. Now then, don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already. And we shall have a good time. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging okay. orbital thrusters. We're already getting some human beings joining us. So this ought to be fun. Orbit synchronized. <laughs> you like Allied the estranged cousin now? Nah, not squadron. at all. Not everybody that I, not everybody in our family plays the game. Lady Neo doesn't, although someday she might, you never know. I know, right, Silrana? On April 1st, the devs should be like, no matter where you are on the map, you're just in range of enemy artillery. I think it'll be funny. <laughs> you are in range of enemy artillery. Lol. Look at this guy suggesting safe spots. Nah, 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 homie. We dropped directly on the bunker, buddy. Uh, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't pussyfoot around on this. All right, we drop directly on the bunker and then we die with glory. And that's the idea, Mosh Bear. We're gonna wipe the bots off the map 110%, homie. That is exactly what we're gonna do. We are going to completely destroy the bot menace. Hellpod launch initiated. Oh yeah, it makes you think about playing Left 4 Dead with a friend. I understand that. Okay, let's go. Now I'm going to show these guys how it's really done. Well, a lot of people prefer safe drops. I'm like, nah, there ain't no safe drops. You drop directly on the bunker and then you extract. That's how we do it on Ubenea. Now, you see that command bunker? Now I hope these guys know the plan because I'm leaving with with or without you guys. Requesting advanced weaponry. Tagging location. Okay, Scout Strider done. Reloading. 
Now remember, whenever you are running, all right, always have your secondary weapon out. It'll help you run faster. Run with your secondary out, and you'll have a good time. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Oh man. What command bunker? Exactly, what command bunker? Now this is Helldivers 2 speedrunning. You see, that's the thing, right? If we wipe out the bots, there's definitely going to be a plan. So this might be the first time we get to see a faction wiped out from the map, but they're going to come back. Alright, there's no way, there's no way that they're just going to let it, let it end like that. But I think it's going to be very interesting, so this will be a, a very nice uh, test case for the story. Now. I'm gonna help the team. Sniping. Requesting orbital. ETA T minus one minute, thirty seconds. Yeah. If anyone says they can't snipe with the auto cannon, they're lying. Well, if he doesn't really want to do this, then goodbye. Oh, Aw, damn. Killed by his rover. What a shame. I can't believe that that guy, though, he's like, side objectives don't exist. Well, they don't, because they don't contribute anything. Another victory for the right side of history. So, don't waste people's time. The only thing you need to do is just get out and go. <laughs> Alright, doesn't matter. I'm gonna carry on. A lot of randoms, uh, they don't, because they don't watch the streams and they don't get the updates, they don't know that you're not supposed to do side objectives. If you're level 50, there's no point. You're wasting your time. So, honestly, don't waste time. If you want to help the Major Order, then you just go in there and you do your shit and get out. There's no need to sit around and waste time. That's specifically why I choose these missions, because I know I can instantly do them. Exactly, Lion King God. That's what, it, that's what it's like for the automatons. They have a command bunker, it's just like, boom. We strike it and it's gone. 
So for me personally, I'm just there to go in. Exactly. Well, I think it'll be a lot shorter than 23 hours, to be fair, because it depends on how fast we go. We'll be generating fewer condolence letters than usual today. Well done. Okay, on to the next. Liberty's enemies march ever closer. Mission coordinates locked. I also love how Hell that the guy that I kicked, right? Complete you know, that guy's a level 50 and he was suggesting a safe drop. I was like, yo, 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 yo. If you level 50 and you don't hot drop, you don't drop directly onto an enemy fabricator when you start the game, homie. You you ain't ready for this game. You ain't ready for this game, okay? I suggest I suggest that if you haven't practiced this, that the number one thing you should do is get ready to drop directly onto enemy lines, and you are gonna like it. Uh, side objectives are only worth doing if you really want to. Even at the lower levels, it doesn't matter because you're going to go through so much, so many games that you're just going to level up fast anyway, you know? Oh, yeah, we're, no, we're going to... Well, half the people are actually still liberating Malevolent Creek. The only reason Ubinea is not already at 40% is because people went to Malevolent Creek first. Yeah, so... The people are, are ready. Grum call Thraka. There you are, my friend. Thank you so much for that super chat. Here's a salute for you. You've been so kind to me. I need to update you into the list. Into the list of our top supporters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will do so right after this mission. You and Death Donnie need to go in. What level is it okay to drop in the safe zone? Um, if you're still doing around difficulty 5, 6 or whatever, then absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Like, don't feel ashamed of dropping into the safe area. It's just that this is difficulty 7 and we are already liberating the planet. So, for us... You guys want to play? Let's play. Now this is how a real Skull Admiral, you know, actually, uh, this is how a real Skull Admiral fights. You know, I mean, if you're, if yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insinuate that the other guy was a total pussy, but I mean, you know, a safe drop when you're a level 50 Skull Admiral. Come on, homie, don't, don't even be talking, don't even be doing that shit. 
You know who does a safe drop and they're a level 50 Skull Admiral? Coward. Shall I spell it for you guys like Sesame Street? C-O-W-A-R-D-S. Alright. If you aren't able to do this kind of stuff when you're a Skull Admiral, you don't deserve that ranking. You don't deserve that title, buddy. <laughs> I drop where I want, when I want. Damn. Bit of a shame, but that's okay. Let the bot drop come in. Calling down fortification. Let them call in the bot drop. Come on. I'm gonna show you a little. I'm gonna show you a little trick. Called, I've got a shield and there's literally nothing you can do about it. Uh, listen, I love my chaotic hot drops, okay? They're the best part about this game. Alright, we good. Objective located. Southeast. Okay, they're probably gonna hit that. I'm gonna go past. Yeah, listen, he'll have to get used to it because at the end of the day, that's what that's what real warriors do, all right? Oh. Shit, where did he die? Uh, that way. Reinforcing. Ah, uh, two overlapping jammers sounds like fun, man. LOL, did you see that bot get yeeted? Yo, that's a clip right there. I was doing my Red Dead Redemption stuff. That's another one done. Still not dead. Reloading. Hell yeah. Let's see. Dropping a pit. Eight, meters. Actually, wait. Can I just destroy it from here? I might be able to. Actually. Yep, that one's gone. See you at extraction, fam. Eight, I'm going. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I hate it. I had one drop that was two overlapping jammers. It was pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Actually, wait, do I have a laser? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Okay, going in for the Eye of Sauron. Now that is what we call a UXO. Unexploded ordinance, beautiful stuff. They blow it up, everything dies. You can have a good time. Some of my favorite stuff to do. Well, I would normally love to be in and out, but here's the thing. You know? The big, the big thing about places like this are that I tend to just uh, loot as I'm going. So although I'm going toward extraction, I really gotta loot at the same time, you know? Because I'm seeing these loot areas. Oh man. There's one more. There it is, there it is, there you go. Come on, super credits, make me rich, baby. Sending in an eagle! Sending in a beagle! Oh my god, it's requisition slips. Actually, wait, there are some low levels here. I should take the samples.
Yep, super creds and medals. I don't mind farming though. Like I love farming, but the only thing I would say about farming is that you don't absolutely have to. Okay, Ion Storm. We cannot use stratagems, and the planet looks beautiful. Okay. We're gonna hold this line. Okay, Ion Storm's gonna pass soon. Okay, bots coming in. There we are. Um, it is harder to get super credits past difficulty 4 because uh, the rare samples may take up a slot. So if you Hello, really want to farm robot. super credits, you can farm it on I difficulties one and three, uh, where rare, where the rare samples don't exist, and basically that's all you need to do. But honestly, I get enough as I play with the lads, so I don't even sweat it. I've got more than enough for the next war bond, and if I really need it, I'll just buy them up. So I already have all the um, different things in the games. So. Oh man. This is Pelican One. I have visual on the extraction zone. Pelican One, landing in progress. Time to crawl in. Are you for real? Calling in reinforcements. Ready to Marking location. Well, we got enough to plan it. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. I mean, I don't know what this guy's doing, but... Requesting air support. Well, I hope they didn't hack those, because... Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Today you carved another... Like... I don't know when he'll run out, but that sounds like he spent literally... Nah, I mean, it, spent, it sounds like he spent all day farming it, which is really not a good idea. Yeah. B4. I worry about this fella. This was a blitz mission, so... You know, we kinda going in and out pretty fast. The other guy was smart. He gave me the samples. Because he knew he knew the Skull Admiral wouldn't die, so <laughs> if you're afraid of losing samples, pass them to me. But yeah, I, I don't I don't fear popping a little bit to help these guys. But I I think that based on what they have already, I don't even think I'll be able to spend it. So we'll have to see. That was one for the record books, where all missions are logged for analysis. Mission.
Station coordinates locked. Hellpods primed. Engaging orbital thrusters. Alright, time to be a real Skull Admiral. We're gonna drop there. Orbit synchronized. All right. Drop on the. We're gonna drop on the drop ships and the fabricators. So that's where it's gonna go. And we're gonna show these people how it's done. Just in case, on cannon shield generator. I could bring in more stuff, but I'm not going to because I can handle most things myself. Okay, let's do this. Launch initiated. Let's have some fun. Sometimes I don't mind playing with randoms, you know? directly on him. Yeah. There we go. Dropping a pin. West. Far. What's this? It's a... Uh, oh, it's a detector tower. Okay, I'm gonna head to next. Okay, clear the mines. So I always like to clear the mines just in case these guys don't know what's up. Um, if they, in case they like get in trouble and whatnot. So I'll usually throw in an eagle. Yep. Okay, good. These guys okay? They look okay. Here. I'll handle it, Kingslayer. So when you're dealing with this kind of thing. Why do I keep climbing? I swear. Phew. Problematic. Deploying fortification. Reloading. Requesting air support. Okay, gonna go around.
Requisition slips, okay. Ooh, that is a lot of love. Orbital in town. Whoa. That happens. What a shame it was at a time when I didn't have my eagles with me. Uh. Now where's my stuff? Oh, it's there. I don't mind napalm, but uh, may not always be the best thing. Calling in reinforcements. There. Take all the grenades, buddy. Come on. Tagging location. Luckily there's Northwest. more. Cancel that. Spot. Northwest. That's one way to do things. Hello, robot. Democracy does work I fast, doesn't it? You got a new subscriber Airport tonight. Collected. Marking location. Marking We're on the on the next order. Yeah, truce is already gone. Right now, I'm I dropped in with some randoms, uh, trying to figure out what to do here. But yeah, they've got the hang of it. So now I'm just exploring and looting with them. Stuns for why? Stop hulks, basically. Because a lot of these guys will not know how to deal with them or how to uh, snipe them fast. So usually I will stop hulks as best I can. Because I know that if I don't, it's going to be a serious issue. So I will normally go and stop hulks with a stun grenade. But not everybody in the team should be running it. It's the auto cannon guy that usually runs it, if necessary. If necessary. Depends on the team as well. Like if I was rolling with all of you guys and I like had, 
you know, full confidence or whatever, I'd be like, okay, sure. I don't need to worry too much, but, you know, since these guys are randoms, we always gotta be prepared for the worst situations, you know? Not even a Skull Admiral can prevent these guys from dying. The Quasar has the Kapow, but I don't know why everyone's praising it. It's on a 10 second cooldown, dude. I'm not using a weapon on a 10 second cooldown. That's just sad as shit. Like, it's a good weapon, don't get me wrong, but it's only ever gonna be a support weapon. The auto cannon does everything. So, it makes no sense that people, you know, like, like I said, like I said at the start of the stream, there's a couple of YouTubers that apparently praise the Quasar as being the new almighty weapon that everybody must only use the Quasar. Um, please don't, because those guys buy their views, and we really don't want to be the same as those guys. Alright? I'm sure that most of y'all can think for yourself. I'm sure most of y'all have uh, brains. So let's not be like the brainless. You know? I find it very sad whenever people behave that way and try to teach people the wrong thing. I'm not into that. People care only about like having being the first to put out information, not whether the information is correct. This is the big problem with any entertainment industry. This is the big problem with media in general. It is, ooh, damn. Wow, from behind. Right after I got that guy too. I hope he pays attention to that because uh Got a new subscriber tonight. Tagging map north, two hundred meters. Reinforcing. Yeah, okay, choosing deliberately not to reinforce your teammates, that's, uh, that's no good. Point me to the enemy. So, P2 is already on his first offense. If he makes another offense, I will remove Coming him from the team. Okay, I, the one thing that I hate is when people don't obey orders. He's coming in. Uh, don't don't be a dick to people. Uh, yeah, there'll be new upgrades to the ship. So the fact of the matter is, there will be new upgrades to the ship. They're just not in the game yet. Truth, unfortunately, you know. Rare sample acquired. Dropping a pin. East. Close. Where's the SSD? There it is. Package acquired. Dropping package. Engaging terminal. Last reload. I don't mind if people are new or they don't know what's going on or, you know, like, maybe they're not experienced, that's okay. I got the terminal. Ah. 
There we go. There, you're safe. I, yeah, I know. I, I'm debating whether or not I should, you know, just completely remove that P2 guy from the team. But I think I won't take the risk right now, because it's better for the team if we just get to extract and go. Ah, oh, crap. That's no good. Yeah, that worked. guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm just recovering my, uh... I would suggest you move, buddy. Yeah, lots of us were RuneScape noobs. Very normal. Actually, wait. Not good. Requesting fortification. Calling down supplies. Sending down equipment package. Both? <laughs> Lol. That's pretty wild. I'm glad you like your runescape. But yeah, I'm never against newbies or people learning, learn the game. Like to me, I think that that's all right. But one thing which I don't like is these guys. Uh... Please do not run in front of my firing line. Nothing wrong with being on the bug planets so you can shoot an aim right. That's actually the strategy that's recommended to most people. Stay on the bug planets till you're re till you're really ready. Because automat. Oh sh. Because automatons tend to be spicy like that. You 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 may die <laughs> to rockets just like that. So. Seconds. Slide. ETA T 
No, it's dead already. People just needed to learn how these guys function. So if these guys knew how they function in the first place, you know, it would be fine. A lot of people just weren't familiar with what the bots can do, why they do what they do, and stuff like that. They just needed they just needed a chance. And like I said, a lot of people just needed that opportunity to do their thing. But once they, you know, once they learned it, it's all good. say bugs are a little too easy it's just that bugs have different tactics they swarm and slow you know? what's a meta stratagem loadout to you my two best uh, loadouts are already posted as a video on my channel a star you can check them out if you want auto cannon style or uh, the arc thrower style either one is fine what pack am I using I'm using the auto cannon which means the auto cannon has its own ammo backpack that you have to carry One second. Let me know if it gets noisy from the outside. But yeah, um, for the auto cannon, and by the way, Boris, if you haven't checked it out, do check out my video uh, showcasing the meta loadouts for automatons if you want to learn how to really uh, kill these guys. But basically, Arc Thrower and Auto Cannon are the kings. Nothing is going to dethrone them. Yeah, there are other options that you can bring along, but they're mostly for other roles. For, so, for example, one guy Arc Thrower, one guy Auto Cannon, one guy as a support. The support guy can bring along Quasar or something like that. That would totally be fine. Uh, post update, the Arc Thor is still one of the best weapons in the game. There is no reason that any player should not be using the Arc Thor if they're going for a front line. If you're not a front line, why would you touch the Arc Thor? The Arc Thor is a short range weapon, 50 meters max, right? So you have to understand that ultimately this is not designed for players that want to just, you know, um, go in there and kill. It's, it's, it's a very different you kind of thing. Democracy well. So hold on, let me see which one's good. This one? Is it Blitz? Oh, it's Eradicate as well. Okay, and this one. Eh, that's fine. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Okay, for this one, I always go hardcore. Um, auto cannon, shield gen. Okay, we're ready. How do you deal with tanks and hulks as an arc thrower player? Your auto, your auto cannon guy will handle them. Either that, or you better bring a stun grenade. But in general, you can actually kill them with the arc thrower. But it takes a while, so your positioning has to be very good. Your job is to draw fire. The other guys will kill stuff. Or 500 kilogram bomb. Yeah, you can use your stratagems as well, but not with the arc thrower itself. Not with Arthur itself, so just remember that. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Bagel Manx, come on. All you gotta do is just drop into the command bunker. But anyway, yes. For tanks and hulks, use your stratagems. As an Arthur player, use your stratagems. Oh, crap. Okay. 
there you go. I hope they follow because uh, I ain't I ain't uh, I ain't relaxing. I'm going straight to where I need to go. Requesting fortification. Requesting sentry. Requesting tap pack. I'm gonna take out the stratagem jammer. Well, actually, the planets, uh, it's the same planet, Lady Neo, it's just that there's night and day. So, depending on the side of the planet, so the planet, like, uh, just like planet Earth itself, has a rotation for night and day. And, um, if you are on the daytime side of the planet, the mission will be bright. If you're on the nighttime side of the planet, the mission will be dark. So, yes, the darker planets can be a bit of an, the darker side can be a bit of an issue, but most players will be alright. Like, once you learn to adapt to it, you'll be totally fine, my friend. So, don't even sweat it. Yep, so it works like an actual planet, which is, I think is cool. The Arc Thor can definitely be used really well, but I'm using the autocannon because I'm much more confident with that solo. I got the terminal. You just got Damn right, Rumpole. Do you want to say thanks? Here's a salute from Robots Roughnecks to you. Robots roughnecks are always ready to roll. Oh yeah. Engaging terminal. Hell bomb arm. Clear the area. Yeah, sometimes bugs like that happen. Uh, I don't know if you know about it, but have you seen the brute commanders without legs? They somehow go super fast and kill everybody. It's crazy. It's a very funny bug in my opinion. Okay, I 
some shield gen. We'll take out these clankers. Okay. Pelican one preparing to depart. Tunnel launch in twenty seconds. We started fighting not after that, but past level twenty bots. Pelican one beginning ascent. You mean you started fighting the bots at level twenty? That's okay though. Like honestly, I fought automatons only once I had everything unlocked because they were hard. They're hard if you don't have all your gear. I mean, hey, listen, if you like the HMG, good, good. The thing about this game is that there needs to, there's always a good variety of stuff. And having a good variety is beautiful. So I really like the fact that I'm seeing people like different things. Like my buddy Nisk, he loves, he loves, um, hang on, wait, let me add Grum Call now, because I got a chance. Go, and the dawning goes here. There we are. Good. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. So like, don't feel like you shouldn't use certain weapons or whatever. Like, you've got total freedom. As long as you're contributing to the team, no one's gonna mind. And that's what I think is awesome about this game. You know, that's why I like it. The liberation of truce was not insanely hard at all. It was easy. But, I mean, people hate the fog, but it depends on how you handle it, because I found I find it easy to handle fog missions. No, oh, personal Welcome order's aboard, done. I look forward to nice. A fast shooting railgun safe mode. I don't know. If you can aim it well, then absolutely, you know. Um, I'm not someone who can aim it well, but... Hey, Chad. What's up? Good morning. GG indeed, Lady Neo. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Uh, because I have maxed out medals already, Virgil. My medals are capped. I've had two, 250 is the max cap of medals. So because I've already unlocked everything, I've got nothing to spend my medals on. So no matter how many major orders or personal orders I complete, I get zero medals. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's bad. Um, it does actually one shot a basic bot if you hit the head. But the fact of the matter is, you can two tap it even if you don't hit the head. So I wouldn't say it's bad. If you can handle how to use it, I say it's actually one of the best options that you've got in the game. But, like I said, it comes with the qualification that you have to know how to handle it. If you don't know how to handle it, then no matter what, you are going to suffer and have a bad time. So I'm personally the type of guy that would say, okay, you know what, you just need to know how to handle it, and then you'll be good. But if you don't, then, well, suffering, man, suffering. Okay. There's a cap for everything in this game, except for super credits. Super credits are uncapped. Do Hello, it, Lady Neo. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Hey, new subscriber, welcome. Yeah, you gotta get a keyboard for your uh, PS5 so that you can join us on this game, alright? That is true, Berserker. But my friend is able to do it, like, by shooting one shot at a time, which is kind of crazy. I don't know how he does it, but these can do it. 
So yeah, Nisk has that technique, I guess. I'm not so good. So I don't know I don't know how some people do it, but now I'm gonna teach you guys how I do this. So what I do is I stay right here. And this is close to the edge of the map. So like you basically like be considered to lose if you go past this. But if you stay here, you can very safely mortar everything. Um B Walker, salute for you. Welcome to the cool bots. Sorry, you guys have to deal with my hat hair because now it's too a bit too hot for me to use my cap. But yeah. You got a new member tonight, didn't you? You should welcome them home. So this spot is a bit cheap, but this is one of the best ways to kill automatons. Yeah, absolutely, Jackor. Oh, listen, don't worry about that. Look, what we should do is we should just enjoy the game with what it has. Because if we if we force them to do too much, right? Like, you see, this update pace is already pretty insane. I want them to focus on the quality of their stuff because I want to see more and more new players coming into the game. I don't want them to focus too much on, you know, trying to do everything. You can't be everything to everyone, you know, but I feel that they've, they've got more than enough content, they've got more than enough stuff, they need to take their time. They need to take their time. And if as long as they take their time, you know, things will go good. But if they are forced to just keep making stuff, I think it's going to be really rough for them. Oh no. My Tesla tower. Reinforce me in there. Ooh, my friend, my friend. You should throw me on the tank. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. It's okay, I'm nice like that. <laughs> okay, here's how we do this. Oh come on. Oof. Well that wasn't very cash money. LOL, what is this guy doing? Are you okay, Mr. Beetle Goose? LOL! This guy amuses me greatly.
I'm literally dancing with this. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. As long as my mortar keeps firing, we'll be fine. I know, right? That tank, that tank is uh, something else. Well, hey, Pelican One. There's the bro. There's the bro. Help me, Pelican One. Ah! Oh, the tank. I swear to God, that was funny as frick, wasn't it? Good night, Night Jade. I wouldn't mind buying temporary stuff for missions with like requisition and stuff like that. That sounds to me like a cool idea. Uh, against automatons? Okay, so I usually use medium armor sets. If you want to check my uh, meta loadout, which includes descriptions of armor and everything, you can just check out my video. So, Mike, I, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but you can just check out my meta loadout for uh, automatons. It is available for everyone. So. Okay, we're waiting. Objective located. We're waiting for you guys, come on. Get up here. Objective located. B4. Going now. Calling in reinforcements. Pelican One preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with B4. Is what it is. I hope the Illuminator will be coming soon. You're excited for clans? We shall see. <laughs> now then, I wasn't expecting Renna to join me. Yep, most likely. Did you have to shoot him? Yeah, I shot him. I actually was hoping you didn't reinforce him. Uh, okay, fair shoot enough. Him. And then we just all escaped, but oh. That's okay. We got reinforced, I figured. Oh, maybe he'll get it, then he ran down there, alright? I'm gonna have to kill him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's fine. Well, what a shame, Mr. Master Sergeant. So, he didn't make the cut. Sad. Warrior has left squadron. Uh, you will be coming in soon. Okay. Let's screw that all. I will make a space room when needed. Automatons came from cyborgs, probably. 
but anyway, um, the actual thing is that automatons are cyborgs. They, they just, just, just so you know, they're not machines. They're not pure machines. They are actually like living, breathing individuals. So yeah, they don't do different things. Automatons are cyborgs. They, it's just that the cyborgs are well, an, another word for automatons. And what you have to realize is that cyborgs means that they're not purely machines. They're they're half flesh. So, just so you know, when you're fighting automatons, you're not just killing robots, you're killing people. Thought I should make you guys aware of that. <laughs> Look at this guy, no help hot space. Why? You stamina freak. Oh well. Yes. Sim. I need stamina. Oh, uh, the whole board boss. Um, technically yes and no, but in terms of this faction, they are the same. All automatons are cyborgs. There's flesh inside the machine. Um, if you're talking about automatons, that means they would be pure machines, but they're actually not. Um, this is in their lore, so yeah, they are, they are the same. Well, Deminarch, the Planet Liberation method was changed, so Squad Impact is based on uh, Player Impact Multiplier. Um, there's a video coming tonight which fully explains the system, because my previous video has one incorrect thing inside it. I said XP matters, XP doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is Mission Difficulty and the Impact Multiplier. All of this is actually explained in the video tonight. So you can, even if you're speedrunning, you can get Squad Impact 6, 9, 12, doesn't really matter. It's all based on whether or not there's enough Multiplier Factor. And the multiplier factor is based on the number of players playing the game at the moment. So if there aren't enough players playing the game, you will not see you will not see a uh, high contribution. If there are too many players playing the game, you know you only get a squad impact of three even on hell dive, because the reason they did the system is so that because NA has the highest population, right? They don't want NA to completely stomp every single objective. Objective critical stratagem no longer available. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Got a sample. Well, you you, uh, you could be uh, killing former hell divers or whatnot. Yep, absolutely. I'm on the terminal. You never know. You never know. Yeah, no problem, Demi Nark. I try to explain every single system in the game because it's very confusing in a way. The game likes to be that way. Yeah. Please take note that you can kill these things as as they're coming down, so just be aware of that. Because uh, Tibbet is not ready yet. Ah. Uh, yeah, Ubanea to Tibbet. Olivia! Thank you very much for the super chat. Here's a salute for you from me and the Roughnecks. The robots, Roughnecks, are killing it. Demons or monsters? Nah, man. This ain't this ain't Warhammer 40k. So we won't get a. We probably will not get a fourth faction that does that, unless. You know, then again, this isn't based on any existing IP, so they may actually do that. You never know. Uh, I'm gonna call in a supply. Yeah, Halloween update. Halloween update, yeah, Bunch man. They, we could have beans, possibly. I need to clean my glasses, keep me safe. I might die. Oh, next year's gonna be so expensive. Need to get a new PC and new glasses. Oof. Alright. Time to go. Tagging map. Southwest bar. Requesting air support. Mr. Kingslayer. Ooh, 
that is a lot of spicy rockets. What the hell? Ooh, spicy rocket face. Ow. Go. Woo. That was spicy. <laughs> Add sexy elves. Okay, yeah, sure. I think somebody be thirsty for some Eldar. Don't be thirsting for Xeno stuff, okay? Remember that that's heresy. Okay, Rena method. There we go. Time to run. Shield came back online. That's actually pretty nice. Light automaton outpost gone. Never mind. I'm gonna go grab that yellow glowing thing. Because it could be super credits. I can't even re -arm. Damn. Why can't you rearm? Yes, I know there's a gem before I can get Oh, is that what the guy said? I didn't see the chat. Nah, he just pinged out the gem and realized he fell. Why are they dropping stuff over there when there's nobody there? Anyway, all this was was a rare sample. Ooh, spicy rocket. Just missed me. Okay, smell you later. Mission map updated. Well, I'm gonna see uh, what uh, what they have. Deminarch. But I'm always looking forward to new stratagems. They've dropped new weapons. I want to see the new stratagems. Uh, Happy Rock over there. I'll go visit it. You guys got the jammer, right? Enemy tactical asset within range. Oh, I should. Okay, I'll grab the super samps. Grab the super champs. If you're wondering why I'm crawling, it's just to restore stamina, then I run with my pistol out. Makes you faster. Stamina. Yep. Remember, if enough hell divers believe it, it becomes true. Rare sample acquired. Mm. Sub objective in your vicinity. The fabricator touched? Yeah. Ah, that's right, jammed. Oh no, there is a fire pit in touch too. Nice. Sick. Objective critical strategy. I'll start the uh objective thing. Calling down objective equipment. Tagging map. North far. Calling down fortification. Calling down supplies. Calling down some supplies. Yep, they're right here, buddy. Marking location. Up on this hill. Hills have eyes, buddy. Engaging terminal. Cannon tower, what the? Ugh, killed by impact. Okay. I don't know what cannon tower that was, but damn. Yeah, no, finish 
suspicious. Okay. Yeah, don't read, don't read it. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Sending in an eagle. Democracy is landed. Ooh, damn. Better. Really? Oh, as soon as I peeked out, I'm walking. Yep. that oh you excel throw me on the devastator if you can oh she's already dropped you in safety yeah we i don't need safety any model cannon back joining the friend i thought you found the funny one yeah i did but maybe oh, dropped already I saw the walk in the middle of the room. Changing eyes. There we are. Ah, suffer. Uh, oh wait, this is mine. Oops. Calling in reinforcements. The other auto cannon is here. Making progress. Did I gotta take one? No. It was just that I took the. I thought that was mine, but it wasn't. That's your doors. Yeah, that's clear. Good. My auto cannon is full. Oi! Oh! Plus the bombs, huh? Yep. If I die to the ghost, cost them more time if you can kill me. I'm gonna the Saurians. It's a little 40 more. Dropping a pin. Northwest, 300 meters. Yeah, he's probably new and doesn't understand. Clusters are a terrible choice. By the way, this is for chat. Never use cluster bombs. I catch any of you using cluster bombs, alright? That's gonna be a straight slap in the face, cause cluster bombs will kill your team. Requesting air support. It's a very bad strategy, and you really don't want to be responsible for that. Okay, I'm clean. Eagle one, returning to destroyer for resupply. I mean, what made it worse is he could see me shoot those bolts and he straight up decided to get the other I this guy should run away, even though the user that I shoot the boss myself. I think I should accidentally airstrike him. Yeah, we can't afford to waste our reinforcements right now. Well, you know, we don't have to move. Even if I did. Well, he'll come down when one of us comes down. Let me get another auto cannon because I'm out of ammo. Heavy, north, close. 
Oh, he's sure stunned for a long time. Oh, he's bugged. No. Wait, do you see him? <laughs> Why do you see? You see the hole? <laughs> the Hulk is. Don't, don't shoot him. Oh. Why? He's coming at you, buddy. <laughs> no, but do you see his model? <laughs> no. Oh, he's his dead. model's normal on my screen. Oh. Well, that's nice. <laughs> What kind of what kind of bug did you get this time? He was he wasn't T posing, but his model was just standing on one spot. Okay. So he was like skating towards us. Lol. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. Apparently, it doesn't seem to be the same. Also, yeah. No. He was walking normally towards you, and about to literally rip yeah. your shit. I was like, hmm. Okay. Oh. Me. Anyway, welcome Yuri. Hey, do you think? Where is the main object? Ah, it's up on the hill, okay. Good night, yeah. At least it's not a speed running hop. I know, right? Yeah. World leader inside. Marking location, I've yet to see it, but it sounds terrible. But yeah, cluster bomb is no good in general because it just team frags a lot. Um, they, you can actually use the eagle airstrike for the same effect on bots and then not team frag. So. I tend to prefer that to happen. 380, if you use a 380 in a team based game, um. <laughs> uh, ready? Players may kill you. Yeah, I'm ready. Go ahead. I gotta I gotta dip into supplies though, because apparently my backpack has nothing in it for some weird reason. I swear I reloaded, but I guess I didn't. So, my apologies for that. But with all of us here, it should be fine. I might even run the Quasar next round. If only the 380 could hit something. Sending in an eagle. If only the 380 could hit something. That's, That's true. Not your teammate, what you say? Sadly, the orbital laser also team frags a lot, unfortunately. That's the only downside. What the? I crashed! Oh. What? I'm just gonna run it down then. <laughs> it was right after he exploded the dropship. I'm not quite sure what he did. Oh, the other guy's gone too. <laughs> uh, oh, crashed as well. Yeah, most likely everyone no, no, no. would have uh, crashed. Yeah, I probably left my full backpack behind and didn't notice it. But okay. Rena, 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 are you still up or you also? No, it's gone, dude. Every time he crashes, I cr my game closes as well. Yeah, that is a that is a one weird crash. I haven't crashed on any streams except with a rando. So, I think what it's what this means is that randoms will crash your game. Surely it's not because I shot it. Uh, sure. <laughs> Wait, what did you shoot it down? Were you were you the one who shot down the dropship? Yeah. Oh damn! Oh damn! Well, okay. Now that we, we can just reassemble anyway. So, what um, loadouts will you guys bring? Because there's gonna be another auto cannon. I can I can finally go, and since there's no randos, I can go arc door. <laughs> yeah, 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 right now want a classic double auto cannon. Yeah, I always bring the same thing. Okay. I mean, okay, I'm either auto cannon or quasar. No, I always auto cannon. I'm fine with that. Okay. Synchronized. I always take the exact same. Thing. Actually, you know, I think then I'll bring the quasar. I'll, I'll reprice my AT bro. Okay. Oh, I have so many medals. Yep. Not right yet. Strategy. I'll just wait till Brenna comes in. I might. Did you upload the clip short or TikTok of that? Yeah. Speed running. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. It didn't oh. go well on TikTok, but it it's quite popular on uh, Instagram. There, like I said, I think it's I posted it in Discord, but people are busy having like a big fight in the comments first, and it's got nothing related to it. But yes, yes, it's posted. Rah.
it's a lot of them. You can't shoot down dropships now. You know, something I've been thinking about is it really worth shooting down the dropships? If I they, if you can get them before, squadron. before they uh, drop their payload. Thrusters. Also, I just realized I see Teddy. Teddy not joining us, lol. <laughs> Orbit synchronized. Okay, let's go. Another in coordinates call. Um, lead we, yes it is, but also that's a really awkward question to ask straight off the bat. Uh, so are questions. you trying to troll or something? Because, listen, every good streamer or YouTuber worth their salt creates a safe space for everybody, but also at the same time, if you're going to ask those questions, is it because you're trying to troll or cause trouble? So just on the basis of probability and also because I don't want to cause any trouble on my channel, I'm going to time you out for 30 minutes, okay? Please keep your conversations to proper things. I might run I might run the uh, Quasar as well, but I'll see. I'll think about it. Because we, As long as we already have an auto cannon, which I know Ren is going to run, so... Yo, the Quasar is awesome against Chargers, man. So Our I've heard. Well, oh, she's squadron. coming. Engaging orbital thrusters. I'm gonna try a new armor. Sure. But first, the new kit was in there. Orbit synchronized. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the other guys are bringing Quasar, so I'm bringing the other guy. Okay. Maboroshi. Fine. Um, the only thing I'm gonna change over, I think, is plasma and scorcher. Bro, right now is that new trip? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Titan. <laughs> I wonder it's if I have armor. that. Yeah, I think I might have that. It looks so similar to yours. The similar sister one. Whenever you uh, go Arkthor as a solo, you insta regret not having your auto cannon. Yes. Because when it comes to solo runs, auto cannon is obviously superior. Arc Thor is generally used for frontlining. It's good against bots, but it doesn't do everything. Auto cannon does. So if I'm gonna go, if I'm going in with randos that I don't trust, I'll usually just take auto cannon. Bro got cooked for the better of the stream in the community. <laughs> Look, we just don't want trolls here. I keep it simple. This is a welcoming international community that everybody can enjoy. And yes, El Presidente, you can actually check out the video that I posted in my two meta loadouts. One of them involves the arc door. Do check it out. But yes, um, I just don't de want to deal with people that want to cause havoc or that ask those kinds of awkward questions. It's like, look, um, all reasonable human beings are not gonna are not gonna talk like that. Reasonable human beings come to streams, they say hello, they hang out, they have fun. They don't, they don't come in to ask that and then what is this going to be like some kind of lynching party they're probably just going to try and find something creepy about me or, or try to like post up about me or something i don't i don't fuck with that i'm like look if you really care about these kinds of issues then make sure that make sure that you do one thing come have fun and be a normal human being just like all of us and everybody's treated the same we treat everybody equally there's no discrimination here but don't try and cause trouble so on the basis of probability you know i will always silence those people first and say like look in case you want to cause trouble I'm not dead. Oh my god, I missed the tank. Sorry. Yeah, it was a it was a very awkward position. Quasar is good with teammates. That being the key thing. It's good when teammates are with you. I like what it offers. There we are. I think those guys dropped in and didn't die. Damn. That's a shame. I like what the Quasar can do. Kill impact. Oh. What did you do? It's no longer, it's no longer the heat damage so or the next time you You shot your teammate with the Quasar. Why would you do that? That is wild. Oh. Oop. That's my Eagle Airstrike. I threw out the wrong strategy. <laughs> Oh my 
go. Automaton outpost clear. Brother! Ooh. What did you die to? Apparently a rocket does stay. What? Oh, what? Oh, it's behind cover. <laughs> what? Well, those spicy boys are attacking us. No. Dude, from the angle I saw him at, there's no way I could have got to hit hiding behind here. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, maybe you got uh, one of the creepy bugs. Maybe one shots. That can't run away from. Tagging map, northwest, 100 from meters. Steel, away from Tactical assets near your location. I'll get away from missiles. Got a new subscriber tonight. Enemy patrol, southeast. Goodbye, Devastator. Oh, hello, Devastator's friends. Damn. They were just chilling in there, huh? Oh, the kill Devastators were more smashed than kill. You turn off the music so you can hear Bile Titans sneak up on you. If a Bile Titan's sneaking up on you, that's wild, man. I actually don't really mind the music. I can understand if it gets a bit uh, repetitive with each faction, but for me personally, I don't. Uh, I don't mind the music too much. Alright, moving on. Here. I hope he doesn't, Mr. Maruboshi. Be shame. I'm always hoping Mr. Maruboshi won't waste our reinforces. Oh. I use the quasar the more I'm just convinced yeah I don't know I don't know what Drop people are seeing in it I guess it could be cool but if you miss you miss yeah def I think it's good at what it does but uh it's definitely not the solution to everybody's problems. Objective located. South. Nothing is. Got a sample. 
I have no idea how you got your hands on those stats, but okay. Because they're not shown anywhere in game, so unless there's somewhere that shows hidden stats. Yeah. Die to a spicy rocket. No, I got, I, got, I got shot in the head. Time to get new helmet stats, bro. Headshot protection. <laughs> if only. If only there was such a thing. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Heavy south. Yeah. 50 meters. It would actually it's be considered tough, nice honestly. if you know that was the case, but I know. <laughs> It would encourage mixing and matching, which I think is good. Requesting orbital strike. Found something. Tagging location. East. Yeah. Cancel that. If it's data mined from somebody, fair enough. I still can never trust anything that's data mined. New revolver coming in dark tide, wow. Never came. <laughs> it did. And it was a it was the variant that we got and it was trash. No, it's supposed to be a heavy one, I don't think that was the heavy one. <laughs> Lol. Well that's truly sad. Uh this one has no fab, right? Well, I'm not really sure I'm wasn't this one that you cleared last time? Enemy tactical asset within range. Oh yeah, that's it. We just spawned a different one. No, that one had a fabricator. It was just at the back. Or I didn't see it. Oh, I forgot it. It's the exact same generator map. Yeah, what the hell is all of it? Okay. There's a fabricator at the back. I'm gonna walk around. Ah, okay. There we are. Thank you. I need a supply. Oh yeah, we dropped from the bone size. Which means there's a radar. There is. The radar oh, yeah, should be. Yep. <laughs> Supplies first. Grab it. And go. I don't need you can double it. I'm okay. Injury! What injury? Oh, oh. Rather than double dipping, all I want to do is make sure that that one Devastator dies. Tell need us to turn it to the exact same place as last time. I'm assuming yes, we still need to free the turn. Oh, very nice. Railgun, yeah, it takes a long time to kill a charger. That's why we don't use it. So, how goes the war? We're already on the second uh, phase of the war. Against the bugs, I would say the Quasar probably has a lot more value. It's the same. Mission map updated. Lol, Matty Wake. Eh. If people don't, you know, if my crew doesn't need it, then no sense wasting time. Everything predetermined? Alright. 
just reads oh. a little crush, I think so. It's useful. I hope not. There's a heavy devastator that is uh, coming up. Start murdering me. Bro, right now that eco asteroid was way too short. Dude, I threw a foot on the wall, I'm in the death list. Oh wait, I don't have the silver suit. Oh yeah, that's one. I'm, I'm not used to it. Okay. Oh, I'm why is there a pot oh, drop? Yep, the new major order is uh, go clear Ubenea and then we move on to Tibet. Yeah, the revolver can kill Devastators if you hit the head. Why do you think I'm using it? Uh, it's okay against automatons. I wouldn't say it's very good. The auto cannon does everything that the railgun does without needing to charge up El Presidente. That's why people don't use the railgun. Because if you're using the railgun, you're wasting time and ammo. Of course, you can bring a shield pack, but a shield pack, like for most people, is a crutch. You shouldn't be using it. Or you shouldn't need to rely on it. The only people, only time we need to rely on is the Quasar because the charge up time is uh, too long. That's why we use it here, but otherwise, you don't really need it. So, if you really want to snipe, I really recommend the autocannon instead of the railgun. It does way better. Calling a resupply here. Hey, Chad. Welcome to the Honored Robots. Here's a full salute from me and the crew. Remember to leave your Discord name on the community post that states where to leave your Discord name. And you'll be added to Discord within a week. I'm about to slip in your ships, I guess. Yeah, snipe the ship, it's okay. We must know, we must test. For science. Oh, true, the crushes don't want it. <laughs> yep. Otherwise, we will know that it's solely due to the fact that King Slayer was with us. Shield is useful if you're the frontline player, yes, but not necessary. However, it, that means that you better draw fire. So... Oh, crap. I hate having to charge up. Like, the one thing which I'll say is worse for these compared to the EAT is having to charge up the shot. Reloading. Dropped on top of you? Damn. Sorry about that. Oh, you got a new member tonight, didn't you? Wait till the iron storm. You should welcome them all. There's one guy that's inside it. I hit it with a stun nade, but I couldn't, still couldn't hit the head with this. You want the auto cannon back. This is why, like, I keep telling people, Quasar is good. It has a role, but you know, it won't be the be all and end all. I'll swap back to a proper loadout after this. For the next round, I hope you guys will, you know, get a chance to see um, my normal full loadouts in action. Grabbing samples. Terminal. Okay, this is clear. Dropping a pin. North, 300 meters.
Yeah, not trigger yet. Um, the so the rail, sorry, the auto cannon can deal with it too. The fact is, with the rail gun, you have to aim. So wasting time aiming and charging it up in unsafe mode is usually going to get your team killed faster. With the auto cannon, I just fire two shots, crouched, or a third if really necessary, and the threat is dealt with. You see. So a lot of people will say, oh, Railgun can do this, Railgun can do that, but it's actually quite useless. Like, the autocannon is not only more versatile, but it's faster. The TDK to kill a Devastator is way faster because in the time that it takes you to charge, you can just go prone position with the autocannon, shoot two shots, and it's done. And, of course, the autocannon has three times the amount of ammo. So even if it took three shots, which sometimes it does, to be fair, especially on the heavy Devastators, even if it took three shots to kill the Devastator, um, you don't even have to place the shot well shoot in the general direction of the Devastator and it will die. And you'd still be at the same ammo efficiency as a railgun, so do think about that. Um, these are all these are all things that, you know, um, I thought about and I realized that matter quite a lot. Aw, oh, damn. Already called it in, huh? Oh, damn. At least he got it. I think those who are good with knowing exactly where the dropships are going to be, because they don't die if you don't drop it exactly on uh, before it drops. So you do have to time that well. But those who are good with it, I think they'll really enjoy the Quasar. Better than me, anyway. Yeah, I mean, use the railgun if you like. Ultimately, you should use what you feel most effective and efficient with. But for me, I always advise people pick up the auto cannon instead because you will not real you will not need the shield. And the railgun is fine, but not great. But yes, I do enjoy the potential team play of the quasar. Okay, going after the second one. That's it, tank boy. That's the automaton one. Here comes the next one. Ah! Got it. No. no uh oh. I hope that kills the tank. Oh no. Yep. Requesting air support. Okay. Gonna have to. Reinforcing. Oh, you're reinforced. Okay. I'm so sorry, did that kill you? I'm not sure who's this there. Oh, then it dropped me. Oops. I was dead. It could have it could have been mine, but I didn't throw it there, at least I don't remember throwing it there. I was gonna say I think that's more. So. Was it M4 that did it? Oh that is safe to us. I see. Okay. Well. Oh yes, yeah, the auto cannon is empty. Hmm. Maroboshi might have to be adjusted after this one. Reloading. Um. Yeah. I, do, I don't use aim down sights. I like. I don't use Hello, the first person robot. mode. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Yeah, you should practice at BVS. By the way, hey, what's up? I'm on the terminal. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here so we don't have to see Maraboshi anymore. But yes, I love using the autocannon when not aim down sights. It's good in third person. Very accurate. Uh, I think you get credited for all the kills. I think, but I'm not so sure. I'm not 100%. Yeah, Devastators are all... From level 5 and up, you should all always be seeing Devastators, dude. 
So if you're in level 6 and you haven't seen a single Devastator, something is very wrong with your game. I don't know how you managed to hack it, JT, but bro, bro, you should stop playing hacked games, bro. Devastators start spawning at level 4 and more. Level 4 and higher. Same with Hulks. So if you're literally wandering around at difficulty 6 with no Devastator, mm, they are literally a common enemy. Literally a common enemy. So either you're playing with hackers or you are a hacker. So you want to be very careful, buddy. Oh no, that guy's dead. Huh. Well, too bad. Goodbye, Murboshi. Dude, I keep forgetting that our servo sister just doesn't throw it up for. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to my non servo sister distance. See that right there? That's a devastator. So, T minus 1 minute 30 seconds. Realistically, even if uh, you personally don't see a Devastator, your teammates should, and they should kill it, and you will get credit anyway. Oh dear. That's a rather spicy horde. <laughs> what is this? Who killed you? Spicy orders. Oh, okay. So I said there we go, then we know I didn't. I said there we go, now you go fast. Bruh. If it happens to me, it's going to happen to me. Yeah. Usually the devastators are uh, POIs, things like that. Very rare to not encounter the devastators. See that right there? That's a devastator. That is killed. Try, I literally tried to shoot the Hulk with Quasar, I can't. I can't, I'm going back to Arctur. <sighs> the more I try to, like, you know, make myself believe in this, the more I'm like, eh, no. Another thing about the Quasar is that it doesn't have a bullet drop. That is true. But I find that for accuracy, right, if I aim in third person, I never get to hit the Hulk's head, and if I aim in first person, the distortion looks so weird. I wasn't even paying attention to my kill count, Daza, so I'm glad that I get the kills for, you know, clearing the bot drops. Okay, that was nice, time to bank in some more liberation. None with no bow spears spawn in your game. Cardigan's rule, bro. That I need, okay? Whatever hacks you're running, okay? I'm gonna need the no bow spear hack. They are one of my most hated enemies. It's random, right? It's either nothing, nothing spear, or the bow spear. Yes. Or no, or no spears, and you get the annoying reapers instead. Freedom wins again. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes fighting for peace. Okay, tanks, Maruboshi. Now goodbye. You are unrequired. Hmm? Welcome aboard, Helldiver. No, we don't need our Destroyer is yours. Unless, unless he's your friend. No. Yep. No. Then unrequired. Okay, let's see. Please be something that is. Okay, 100% call in time is reasonable. The operation proceeds. Um, er <sighs> eradicate. Am I drinking enough? I do. In general, I usually drink a lot of these bottles of water every single day. Mm. Yeah, what's 
spoken to a woman. I mean, mission coordinates. Yeah, let's clear the eradicate first. Hellpods Prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. What do I think about the current modifiers? You mean the uh, the operation modifiers? I'm not a big fan of them. Orbit I'm really not a big fan of them. Let's drop on the edge. <laughs> well, thank you for checking. I appreciate that. Now to team kill excessively. Hey man, is your friend from Singapore slash Malaysia that access familiar? Are you? You? Are you? Yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> My friend is indeed from Singapore. Yes. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. A pew pew potato has joined us. By the way, this is an eradicate mission. Are you very sure you guys want to bring all those explosives? <laughs> as yeah. long as you guys don't don't yeah. get killed by my mortar, okay? I'll be outside the base. I'll be outside using cheap tactics. Civil sister. Hell yeah. Chad, okay, good. Chad has indeed given me his name. Oh, I can change. I can change my. Okay, I can send a friend oh, request yeah, now. Okay. Now we're all with orange and blue. Actually, wait. Now that I'm back on Arc Thor, sickle. I'm gonna sickle on my pickle. It impact grenades, of course. Yeah. Shame. No servo system. Launch <laughs> I don't uh, servo assist. Don't bot shoot Tessataras. They do, but I'm trying it out because so far it's been okay ish. Truffles doesn't no, have that much of an accent. It's not Astro. Oh, I have zero. You have zero? Are you sure? Rena has awesome. Yeah, no idea. Rena has extreme accent. How many people lost? <laughs> well, tell me, you sound like non Asian nationality. Non Asian nationality, Lamau. Come on, Arctor, get in here. Oh, my turret. My Tesla tower is dead. Dude, 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 the... I saw that... I saw that drop ship uh, lag. Wait. Who killed you? Drop ship. Oh. I was always just landing. Oh no, traitor detector. Oh no. LOL! Traitor <laughs> Oh, dude. You're next to me as well. I'm really on the way, bruh. Bye! Oh, I'm stuck, man. Have a great I'm day. Stuck. I'm stuck. I'll resummon both of you. Your traitor explosive knocked me under the drop ship that was like grounded and then I got stuck on the new pit. On the broad side, that's a free to be eating, you know? in reinforcements. That's called democracy! <laughs> oh, y'all wild. It would be nice, it would be nice to buy some temporary stuff. Nice to shoot down a dropship on top of your friend. Are you very sure? I think that might kill people. Calling down supplies. Eh? Why is it so quiet on the western front? 
I'm gonna go around. There must be something to kill. Oh! Sorry, my Tesla Tower is still there. Oh. I just realized I was like, what's that sparkly thing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, 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 was I was coming around to kill these other guys and I just saw you guys get zapped. I was like, oh shit. I'm sorry. I'm more surprised it's I was staring at it for like 30 seconds at this and didn't do anything. And it just yes, but I'm, I still apologize. Oh no! Oh no! How did that come down on top of me? Oh dear. Yeah, oh dear. Okay. Auto cannon the chops here. I died. No, you really be careful, man. I got zapped from the. Oh, yeah, the sign. The sign broke, bro. I was prone to it, whatever. Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, was I not prone? I don't know, buddy. But now, surely I'm prone to your screen. Okay, nobody. The, nobody saw me mess up this combination. Okay, like. Three times. Dude, that, that berserker Ooh, floated cool. out at me like some kind of zombie, so that was pretty cool. Come on, Stone. Yeah, they can do that. happened there and why is there was that a barrage I think he got away. Away. oh well, that sucks Ready to yeah, I think my game is kind of back here at the moment. yeah dude every time somebody shoots down a dropship it like gets so laggy So I don't know, there must be something causing crashes and spikes with shooting down the dropships. Surely. Sorry guys, give me a moment. If you guys are wondering why I'm running over here, it's because the last time my arc door was- Oh damn. Calling in an eagle. LOL. Another diver you just got the UV special? Yeah, yeah. It was just on the edge of it, but it's okay. I just wanted my arc door back. I hope there'll be a revamp of armor, for sure. Drop ships. Now. Reporting to the front. I am generally against team kills, yes, but oh well. What can we do, right? Requesting sentry. Calling down a sentry. Gotta frag your team. I have no idea how I die by this set of Okay. Shoot on me. Yeah, I shouldn't be. I'm so far away from you, how could you be killed by me? You have accomplished the legendary. Extracted your discretion. Uh, that was. That means uh he's, he's, this is your like his team kill power is so strong. 
like, you want to kill you with you mine. It, it will say someone else called you. But that's actually true, it is about you. Oh, they're going to die. Oh, there's a Hulk. Why? Yeah, go ahead. Listen, the high brain bug, I'd be down for it, man. Alright, time to extract. Pelican 1, preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Come on, get in there. Extraction complete. Pelican 1, hey, Nice, how's it going? BRB, gotta do something. I'll be back with one more mission before. Okay. I'll look for the ships new. So you're gonna BRB for one mission? Understood. Well, I don't know how long it will be. Okay. I still have time to join back if I don't, then I'll just say I'm leaving. Okay. Um, are you join so are you joining this next mission then, or just leaving now? I'll leave now. Okay. okay. I miss you, man! After this is done. We start the 13k point stratagem here. I know, right? I think it's round 20. <sighs> it's always weird. The ones where I screw up the most and somehow pass by like a clutch is the ones I get like a good Dude, score. a healing guard dog would be crazy. Nisk, do you want to join? <laughs> Many right now we- Whoa, Yuri just yeeted himself forward somehow. That was pretty insane. Classic cheater. <laughs> How could you say that about your friend? Okay, I'll let Rena go first, then I'll start the op. Oh, he's a yard work. Damn. Damn. That's no, not me. You can do it, Yuri's gonna screw up in this. <laughs> Allied destroyer has left squadron. Okay. Mission coordinates locked. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Yo, fam. Okay. Uh, we'll just do this two first, then we'll go to last. All right. Now with Renegon, back to the auto cannon. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat. Helldivers to Hellpods. Like, I love to arc, but I just cannot justify the lack of, uh... The lack of power to kill hulks. When I... When we don't have enough auto cannons. Gotta have them auto cannons. Those auto cannons. Alright, Eagle Airstrike, Orbital Laser, Auto Cannon, and of course Shield Generator. You know what? I've been eager to try this for a while as well. Let me swap my armor. I want to see how much difference there will be. Heavy MG snipe. Lol. We do, we do. I'll be waiting because there's some other people that have been using the same strat you do, Nisk, and they talked about it and they said, you know, um, that, that they use the heavy MG the same way you do, so I'm very interested to see how it turns out. Uh, we play on difficulty 7 mostly when I don't have my full squad. I like to sweat on 8 and 9, but only when I've got full people. Because when it comes to randoms, you know, they can get a little spicy sometimes. Ooh. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. The fate of all humanity's children are in your hands. Do not let them fall. Ooh, damn. Okay, that was wild. I'll take out that fabricator. Wow, rocket devastator. Yep. There's some fabricator here. I'm just gonna. I destroyed it just by landing in it. Whoops. Can I follow me by the way? And a tank. Wait, is it just me or really insane fire rate? What is the insane fire rate? The tank. Yeah, it it always has an insane fire rate. But I mean, to me, that's the normal fire rate. Oh, come on! Scout Strider. Rude. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Lol. <laughs> now that's a hot drop. To liberate. Reinforcing. Yeah, a 9 is very difficult to engage with chat, so I would agree with that, Mosh Bear. That statement makes a lot of sense to me. Because every time, like, if I want to play on 9, I don't really get the chance to talk with chat much. And plus, if I really want to contribute to Planet Liberation, 7 is good enough. Oh, whoops, that bounced. I brought the wrong backpack. That's okay. Why does a ballistic shield backpack do that? Oh, maybe, uh... Maybe it's designed intentionally to confuse people. So that they'll finally give the Ballistic Shield a, a chance. Okay, moving up. Uh, I need my backpack. So, in three shots, which is basically the same ratio as a railgun, but without needing to seriously aim, the autocannon takes out most targets, which is why I like it. Charge, fast fire. I mean, sure, there is downsides, but... In most situations, the upsides outweigh the downsides. In most situations. That and unlimited range sniping on the cannon tower is pretty good, too. Hello, Nolan! Watching me from work? Well, I hope you enjoy the show. I hope I'm putting on a decent show anyway. Not quite sure why that didn't explode, but okay. Let me know if you guys need anything, otherwise I'm just gonna quickly loot this area. Okay. Well, Y'all might outlive me. Scout Strider right up in my face! Oh dear. And a heavy devastator. Love that. Yeah, I'm gonna restart my game here. Okay. It's like uh, one second. Don't you worry, you take your time and restart as needed. Sims, my favorite. Now, where's the crate? Don't. Ah, uh, okay. It's the yellow thing instead. Thought I uh, cleared this point for nothing. Rare sample. Lovely. I should never have wasted my time. Okay, going to return. Are you guys gonna be okay? 
watching these guys. Okay. There we go, clear. If you like Quasar against the bugs, that's okay. I still prefer my Arctor. Just because I... When there's multiple charges and a horde, the Arctor is superior. But if you like to use the Quasar as part of the team, that's totally fine. Adjust according to your team composition. If you already got two Arctor guys, you probably don't need a third. And that's what variation is all about. Okay, this guy needs samples, so I must take them. Requesting air support. I will usually take samples, but only if I judge that the person needs them. Like, if if I see that they're relatively new to the game, I will get them the samples. Reloading. Ooh, glowing yellow thing. Before I go and clear that base, guys, I'm going to go over there and uh, grab this loot. Auto cannons, uh, yeah, because anything explosive can open those things, so always be aware. That, yep, I see it. Three shots down. One, two. Well, that one took four because one of my shots missed. Make sure you actually hit your shots. Oh. Don't touch explosives. Get some! Get some! Uh -huh. Got a sample! Yep, even the arc door can open crates by the- Oh no! Oh, I got killed by contact mine. That was stupid. Darn, I thought I eliminated them all. Request approved. Reinforcements have been Thanks, launched. Yuri. Gonna quickly walk back over there. Now, guys, none of you saw me walk over a contact mine, okay? That never happened. Okay? We don't do that here on the stream. So, if you ever see me walk over a contact mine, erase that from your memories. Okay? Never happened. Okay? I don't make newbie mistakes like that. Okay? I'm a professional. I would never walk over a contact mine. Okay? And don't any of y'all take any clips of that shit. Man, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Let's say with a spicy rocket. Yes, exactly. You see? Yeah, that's the way. Orbital inbound. Oh, shh. Uh, where did Yuri die? Uh, close to the baby. Oh, okay. Pulling in reinforcement. I hate bullet flinch. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. I guess I better deal with these guys coming in from the back. Requesting air support. Calling down fortification. Democracy's on its way. Huh. Nice. Withdrawing to rearm. Okay, going into the base. Welcome back, Lady Neo. Yes, I know, the, the mines always, you know, kill me. It's so stupid. Here's got that. No more gun for them. Can I get this from here? Dark. No, I cannot. Okay, I'll move up. Objective critical strategy available.
Damn it. Get some! Get some! There we go. Oh, you're doing it. Okay. Dropping the Yep. I was about to do the same thing. Perfect timing. Auto cannon, viable solo, and with randoms? Yes, absolutely. We've got one random right now, and I've got my buddy Yuri. So, yeah. It's absolutely viable. Auto cannon is, in fact, the best solo. Because the Arc Thor is basically a team, is a team based thing. You use it when you are going to front line for somebody. So you definitely don't want to be using it when you're all alone because there are things you cannot kill with it. And that will get rough for you. So make sure you are applying it uh, when you know, you know, you have somebody to back you up. But yes, absolutely, the auto cannon is a great um, strategy to use Engaging when terminal. solo with randoms. I don't think there'll be any bow and arrow. It's armed. Let's go. Ion Storm. Damn. What gotcha? Spicy Rocket? Yeah. I see him. I'll take revenge. Oi! Damn it! Ooh! Not into the mine! Not into the mine! Ooh! I don't know how that worked. Okay, okay. Now that is worthy of a clip, because somehow I survived. I shouldn't be alive right now. Okay, Ion Storm over. I'll throw you back in the base so you can get your stuff. You might want to just jump out of base. Because he shot down the dropship, but it was too slow, so now there's like everybody there. And they're stuck underneath the dropship. Literally waiting for my thingy to set up. It's probably the only way I can kill him. Okay. Moving to the other area. Requesting air support. I know, right? I missed that contact mine. It was so close. I was like almost dead. The railgun is not a crossbow, no. Um, it's, a, it's a powerful sniper rifle type weapon that you will generally use to absolutely annihilate a target. But the problem is that it got nerfed because it was too good. And then now it's kind of trashed here. As much as people love it, you know, and support it, it's not a very good weapon. Ooh, spicy rocket. There's a Bruiser Hulk patrol that just came at me. Sorry, buddy. Are you the, the auto yeah, yeah. Position? Go ahead. Go ahead. I can call down a new auto cannon. I do not disagree with that. Ready to liberate. That was an unfortunate one. Calling down a support weapon. I think I'm, as much as I like the servo armor, I'm going to have to go back to explosive resist because, yeah. I'm not good like you guys. I can't do this. I'm gonna stay in my bubble of safety. Grab this. Oh, extraction awaits. Nice. Yeah, that's one that advantage of the like. Oh. Yep, blast it fast. Is that a uh, crate down there? I'm slowed going through this foliage. Alright.
<laughs> yep, all the luck was gone for sure. Can auto cannons take out dropships? Yes, but it takes about 10 to 12 shots on the engine to do so, so it's not really advisable as a strategy. Yep. It is a good, it is a good set. The shield gen, yeah. The shield gen rate is very good. It's a very safe thing and you can use it very often. Oh, this guy's got a mortar. Alright. Alright. Let's uh, back away from that. The only problem is the Hulk bruisers. I find that they're way too spicy, but I really do like the exterminator set with the auto cannon as well. It's a good choice. Trench engineer is good, but you can also run the explosive uh, set. Because that one, like, I, if I'm running stun grenades, I find that that one's a bit more safe. You can also run Hero of the Federation. Yes, you can definitely take out dropships if you have multiple auto cannons. It is possible. Or if you've got somebody to reload you. But everybody would have to focus on like one particular engine as far as I know. I don't think you can focus on different engines and have it work. But here's a little tip for me, rather than taking out the dropship, because if you don't take it out, you see, they still survive the drop. If you don't take them out before they start dropping, they will all survive even if you take out the dropship. So one alternative strategy that I always recommend to people is you can just uh, shoot the bottom of the dropship with the auto cannon. The explosive damage will kill them before they even drop, which is hilarious. So they will drop dead. Brings a whole new meaning to the word dead drop. You hope they enhance it in what way? How would you like them to enhance the magnetic team reload thing? You need to be more sticky or less sticky? Longer interaction range and more sticky. That does sound pretty wild. Okay. Yeah, listen. Considering civilian lives are only 25 requisition, I'm not surprised we're spending millions. Friendship doors. Lol, mosh bear.
I would love to see weapon customization in this game. It would make builds so crazy. If I could add AP to my auto cannon, mm, I would do that. I would do that. Or imagine if you could add more explosive damage to the auto cannon. I'd be down for that as well. I think that'd be a really good uh, option to have. All right. Sorry, Yuri, I'm leaving this armor in your return. in your control because nah, going back to explosive resist. I'm too noob for this. <laughs> okay, restart the game. Yep, take your time. La 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 la. I'm just telling the pew pew potato that you'll be coming back shortly. AP auto cannon, but no explosion. Uh, not really, because well, unless it could penetrate through the scout strider, the then I'd say for there. bots, it would be nice Take to have an AP butt. auto cannon with no explosion, because that would be kind of cool. But the explosion is what helps kill the scout strider, so I don't know. It would be better against devastators and hulks, but less useful. So very interesting thoughts. The first thing I would customize on the HMG is I would reduce the recoil to zero. <laughs> Use HMG. No, 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 bro, bro, bro. Only you do that. Allied destroyer has right, joined squadron. Okay. Mission coordinates locked. Let's go retrieve Hell some spicy tried. packs. Engaging orbital thrusters. AP ammo is in the game files and only the turret and only the turrets using it. Listen. Orbit, Good enough, man. Heavy armor penetrating auto cannon. Yeah, it would be pretty godlike, I reckon. So. Robots are very good at using the scythe, so uh, laser cannon power would be pretty nice. I wouldn't mind that as well, you know? Like, can you imagine if we had like a laser cannon or a quasar turret, but it fires like faster? That would actually be pretty sick. You could just yeah. leave it there and it would take out all the dropships. <laughs> would not mind that. Okay, it's time to bring a mortar sentry along. I'm ready to team frag deliciously. Launch initiated. You want to see some Quesadilla cannon madness? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with it. Uh, my buddy Yuri's bringing it along. Unfortunately, I'm not good at operating the Quesadilla cannon, so you have to forgive me on that. HMG feels bad to use. Uh, not well. Yes, for me, if you're like me. But not if you're Nisk. Apparently that guy loves the HMG. There's a gem on the house. Oh dear. Okay, well. Let them come. Let them roll. Let them face the insurmountable might of the Damn Can't reinforce him. I'll go after the jammer. Same, same. I'm um, evac. -ing. Yep. There's a fabricator next to jammer. Nice. Got it. Beautiful. I'm calling in a shield gen first on you so that we can uh, get our shit together. Calling in mortar here and I'll call in my support equipment. Okay, that's clear. 
Yes, go Mortar. Falling down five. That's probably gonna bomb the thing. Okay. Oop. Ooh. Okay, new core memory unlocked. Kelly, I cannot strike. Ooh, damn. My apologies. Yeah, that was I know. Seems to be content bombing the other side and then switching around. I'm going up now, but I'm going by the other, other path. Because that hill is oh, a yeah. uh, death hill. Yeah, we can find it. Okay, there's a Hulk on this side that I'm just gonna delete real quickly. Wow! One explosion. Dude, I've got explosion resistance armor. Okay, nobody on stream saw that. If the guard dog had a breaker, it would definitely be terrifying. Join the fray. Very Plus nice. You got it. Okay, moving in. I believe. Automaton outpost destroyed. Luck and load, luck and load. Lol, Nisk. Did you see what Marsh Bear said to you? Mortar's firing. I'll head up and eject the thing. Yeah, 15 devastators. Got it. Tagging map west. 300 meters. Bring it. Sure, Helldivers 1 was fun for a great many players, so I can see why folks would miss it. Dropping package. Package fired. Yo, is this a meta weapon, the real gun? Lol. Dropping it is the package. best weapon in the game, bro. Sure, you don't want to use it? Dude. It's like the best. Hello, Lola. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Just for those that like using the railgun, we're not dissing you. Hello, we just Lola. find it amusing. <laughs> I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. It wouldn't surprise me if the HMG got buffed. Honest to God. Ooh! That cannon turret is, is spicy. Where did that come from, bro? I don't know. I don't know who pissed it off, but damn. Okay. Dropping package. I see. I'm gonna send a shield generator to you. Okay. 
There, there's a shield generator next to you. You can use it if you like. Please, 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 please. Can pick right, tell me if you need supplies. Oh, damn. Uh, no, I don't need supplies, but there's a bunker over here. I accidentally got murdered by a freaking devastator. But yeah, there is a nice little bunker door there. My way. Calling down a sentry. I'm on it. No contact mines. Okay, good. Right, sorry. There we are. I've got nice. this one. Reload my gun Packet for a water. bit. Dropping package. Super cred, super cred, super creds. Triple. That's nice. Package acquired. Dropping package. Wealth increased. Dropping a pin. Okay, time to help the potato man. I don't know where he put down the SSD, but I'm gonna grab it. Okay, made it here. Reloading. Growing supply beacon. No supplies here. I got the terminal. Listen, refusing to play carefully is exactly how we play. What do you mean carefully? No, 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 no. There's no care. Okay. The last time I heard about care was uh, when they said care for soldiers and they didn't really mean it anyway. My bad, I thought I could get the enemies before they called in. Oh, come on. I thought my reload finished. Whoops. There we are. Got the two packages. Drop in package. Okay. Coming to you. Get out of bird. Front shot. Oop. Nobody saw that either.
Okay, the rocket devastators seem to be dead. Hello. Who is that? It's a VBS. Ah, what up? Oh, it's your day today. Odd time for you to join. Normally you join earlier than leave. I had an additional meeting after my usual Friday meeting. Oh, right, it's Friday. I, I Sorry, the days slip away from me sometimes. I forget what day it is. I was thinking something was up. But yeah, welcome. Uh, Yuri, the, all the patrols got stuck over there. There was a spicy gathering. Welcome, welcome. Package acquired. Got the package. There. North far. Says Rock of Happiness Midway. TK is okay. West. Yeah, listen, listen. I advise people not to team kill, but you know, sometimes you just can't help it. You know, you see, you see knees and you just want to shoot. What happens? Uh, what is all Randall doing? I don't know. Is he is he eating happiness? Maybe he's you know munching on a blue crayon. You never know. Dropping package. Ah! Hell yeah. Free stuff. There's a rocket devastator in there. I'm just gonna toss a grenade. Oh, it's a raider. Damn, I thought it was a rocket devastator. What a waste. I'll go back for the stuff after I resupply. Any good stuff? Oh, -ho, here. That's a stun grenade. Please be careful. That was an accident. I keep forgetting I don't have an impact grenade, so I'm so used to just tossing. Now. Tank behind us. Super credits. Oh, tank behind us. If it dropped behind us, then, you know. Yeah, do you think the super sappers on the left one or the right one? Uh, Package acquired. left one or right one? Yeah, there's two of them. <laughs> Where's the right one? I can't see the right one. I can see the left one. Oh, okay. I go to the left one. Since you're near there. Yep, it's on the left one. Yes, yes, indeed, Nisca. BBS is doing this. Yeah, I'm having the uh, I'm having the spicy, <laughs> spicy. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck like this, dude. Dude, my clips just psychically fly into the uh, psychically fly into the thing. It's beautiful. Are you gonna take out that? Oh, there's heavy devastators. Okay. Calling you here. Give me a moment. There's a shield. Nice. Just one more. Go right ahead. Good. Okay, I guess I'm stuck like this. <laughs> I know, right? This is the best pose ever. This is this is a pose that Nice would love. Even if you die, <laughs> your body does that. It's so bad. Oh no, you just uh. What? <laughs> so what happens is that if you drop the SSD in an awkward way, um. It'll cause this bug, so you psychically start loading your guns. <laughs> it actually does affect your aim, and it's funny. You see, because you you shoot from the bottom of the gun, so it does affect your aim. <laughs> I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I don't want to clear the bug. <laughs> I like the bug. It's funny. This is the best bug ever. This is the bug of champions. No, I'm too powerful to be stopped, Demi Nark. 
I'm too powerful to be stopped. This is how I live my life now. Uh, watch out, the other guy placed down a mortar, so... Ooh, damn. Yeah, if I... Because I, I cannot, like, uh, fire from too low, so now I cannot take advantage of, like, anything. <laughs> Dude, if I shoot while prone, I'm gonna blow myself up. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. I'm, I'm going up. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, cardigans. Yeah. Yeah, did you guys see that? No, that was dope. <laughs> they call me Cassidy. With this one. L let me see if raising the satellite will fix it. <laughs> Hopefully it will. <laughs> uh, two o'clock. Okay. I've got this one. Okay. Did it work? Yep. Oh my god. No, going into first person doesn't fix it. I'm psychically roading, <laughs> roading, loading rounds into my rifle. Lol. I'm a psycho man. That's it. That's it. Not nope, changing guns doesn't fix it. <laughs> nah, I, I live my life like this now. <laughs> this is the creepiest thing ever. Oh lord. Uh, this is the best. Trying some stuff. Don't worry. Oh, supplies! I could use some. Yes. Getting shot at. Oh. Right. Yeah. Okay, great. Extraction to the east. I got this. My sideways cannon got this. Oh, well, thank you. This glowing yellow thing, I'm gonna go toward it. Who's there? Oh, okay, it's dead. Next round, I need to try something. I wonder if my eagle pods can actually uh, kill a hulk. I don't know if they can, I'll try. Love me 500. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Oh. Reloading! My favorite warning. Yes, this is the best pose bug ever. So, guys, have you heard that we're in range of enemy artillery? Whew. Warning, you are 
I'm psychically loading bullets into my AC. I like that. Say hello to democracy! Oh. Calling in reinforcements! No problem, I got this. My guy is fine. Oh, there's Eagle Air Strike too. I'm gonna just sit back here and relax for a second. Morning. You are in range of enemy artillery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that wasn't me, but lol. Um. Ooh. Well, thanks for that. Contact mines. No. So that's the tank. Nice work. Okay. I'm gonna finish the mission like this. Hello, Roma. No! I heard you got a new hey, subscriber tonight. Oh, he already called you in. Oh, he called you. Did I get killed? I have no clue, man. The the D thing is missing. Today is one of those days for sure. Roger. Pelican One will re-attempt pickup at extraction zone. Reload it. I'm psychically loading shells in. Remember. Calling down fortifications. Yeah. Calling down a sentry. Every true member of this democracy must learn to use psychic powers. Oh. Oh, you Do we have the reinforced bug as well? No, I think it's a massive, massive. Oh, I see. Okay. I think they're calling you in now. Yeah, I'm using the force to reload right now. Look, 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 it's going in by itself. Get some. Get some. Yeah. Ooh. Darn. Okay. I know, right? Never knew I was. Uh, never knew my hell diver was Jedi until now. Force reload. Ooh. Darn. Something is shooting at us from this side. Oh. It was my own teammate. <laughs> this game turned into Star Wars Battlefront. You telling me, buddy? You telling me? This is the best this is the best thing ever. Look at that, I'm using the force right now to reload. Woo. Spicy. Y'all ain't never seen a Helldiver like me, alright? Oh, 
Yeah, come at me, Berserkers. I got you. Can't beat the force. Yeah, democracy. Use the force. <laughs> I saw <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I saw that random resupply. Appreciate it, man. Ooh, one spicy rocket. Damn it. <laughs> No! My force powers! I lasted for so long in that pose without dying. This is Pelican One. I have visual on the extraction. Oh, I'm so sad. Now I'll be normal. My character is normal now. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's emotionally traumatic. That's Im I lasted so long, guys. Aww. Let me just grab my did, did somebody grab my samples already? Yeah, I think they did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. Okay. Yep, we're good. Pelican One preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. Pelican One beginning ascent. Oh, now that that is uh, that is some good stuff. It's always one Another spicy rocket. I know it should, but I don't want to fix the glitch pose, dude. That's the dopest thing ever. Okay? Like, I don't want to fix it. <laughs> I want to psychically reload my weapon. <laughs> if you ain't styling, are you trying? Exactly, exactly. No, no, no. That pose should be permanent. <laughs> we should have it as an option. Turn on in the game. We can just run around like that. <laughs> The creepiest thing is when you do the the dive and it's like <laughs> only only the lower half of your body moves. Oh, I'll tell you, the upper half is creepy. All right, all right. Keep it up. And pretty soon there that was good times. Good times. Just managed democracy. Keep it up, and soon there won't be any bots left, huh? All right, all right. Damn. All right, do we own Malevolent Creek yet? That's no. Why don't we own? Ah, uh, never mind. We can own it after we finish this order. We're gonna finish this order in like two days anyway, so. Okay, okay. Hmm. Just for the last bit of this, let's go, let's go build, let's take a pew potato to level eight. Or should I just do a hell dive? You know what, hell dive. Screw it. Let me see one that's not so spicy. Ooh. The hell dives are all way too spicy. Nah, hell dive. Okay, let's see. Let's find one that's reasonably human. Okay. Mission coordinates. Emergency locked. evacuation. Hellpods primed. Engaging orbital. Dude, thrusters. it should be a new achievement. Extract with four people in the in the glitch pose, man. Okay, now since this is a hell dive, I will play properly. Synchronized. We'll drop safely at extraction, clear the establish the communication uplinks, and then we'll uh, carry on. I know, I know, it's the pussy method, but you know what? Hot dropping with a newbie on level nine, probably not the smartest thing. So to the extraction. Okay, eagle airstrike, rocketopodo, and energy shield. Love it. I've got my stoon grenades, and I'm ready. Yuri's gonna go with the Quasar. With the Quasar Slazar. VVS going with the uh, auto cannon, okay. And the rail cannon strike, dig it. All right, let's have some fun, fam. Mm. 
what's the strat with the rocket pods? Um, Eagle 110 millimeter rocket pods. Uh, in general, they are used against hulks, tanks, a lot of them, because we'll see a lot of that in level 9. So as soon as I see a tank, I'm going to rocket pod it. Um, but it shares the same cooldown with the Eagle airstrike, so you got to use everything and then rearm it. Now, there's 50% extra cooldown and also 100% uh, call in time, so please be cautious. Alright, we'll take things step by step. Dropping step again. by North, step. Okay, there's a patrol coming Enemy in. Patrol. It hasn't spotted us. I'm gonna leave by the other side of the base. North. In and or we can kill it. Alright, Pew Pew Potato decided to kill it. Whatever. Fine, 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 little spicy boy. This chili buddy. Okay. Reloading. Go. Got it. Nice. Okay. Well, that is true. Unfortunately, that's how it is. There will always be a lot of deaths. A bunker. Roger. Coming. Where is this bot drop? Requesting orbital. Drop ship. Right there. Oh, over that base. Okay. Requesting fortification. This is the one time. I'm just gonna throw in the eagle pod. Okay, buddy. Going in. I got super rocket. Ah, rocket devastator. Okay. I'm gonna head down. Stitch for cover. Hey. Oh. Sending in an eagle. Yep. I've got this one. Wait, Liberty, my own. Three rocket devastators over there. I'm gonna reload first. I'll call you in, in a moment. There's a bunch of rocket devastators. <laughs> yep. Calling in reinforcements. Ragged out all over the shop. Oh. We are not near you, but Okay. Yeah, you threw us like the opposite way I wanted to go. No, I did. Did I, I think the other guy threw you because I may not have gotten uh, a chance to even throw it out. Sorry. That is a hole. Whoops. Uh, mm. Ooh, 
spicy rockets. Chimney rocket like a savings. Yep. And another bot drop. I think we should just go. Cause damn, they're just gonna keep coming. If we keep engaging. Alright. I'm gonna put down a shield gen here to distract them. Please feel free to make use of it. I'm going to the relay. Oh, come on. That is not right. Ah. Uh, literally shot up the guy. Yeah, thanks. I'm near there anyway. I literally got. I literally. I survived the rocket, but got ragdolled. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna have to liberate with haste now. It's just a shame, but it is how it is. Downside of hell, dads. You gotta run and go. Okay. As soon as Yuri is done, we're moving. Okay. There's a party with like Hulk and everything over there, so please avoid. Let me grab the samples. Okay, heavy devastators. This super chat, but did my chat die or something? Ah, there we are. Hey, Chanel. It definitely died. Sorry about that if I haven't been answering everything. Sometimes my chat just, you know, decides to go crazy. Yeah, I can't use light armor with the bots. 50% resistance is fine, but I still die to everything else, so that's why I use medium. I just pull out the pistol and just run faster. Which tends to work well. Okay, I'm gonna throw down a shield gen as a distraction here. I think we might want to run. Watch out for the mines. Some. Okay, the other one for BVS. He needs it. Rare sample acquired. Okay. Time to run with both legs. Objective Thank you, Chanel. Down. Here's a salute for you. Yeah, there's a lot of ricochet sometimes. Just can't uh, can't quite control it. around ok 
Okay, spicy rocket boy and devastator boy down. Objective critical stratagem available. Nice. Calling down objective equipment. Okay, sounds good. Oh, hang on. How do I open the damn gate? There we go. Sorry about that. I need to uh, need to open the gate to put it in. Okay. Thanks for the supplies. Cannon tower. Stone. Cannon, tower stone. Cannon tower. Okay. Ah, okay. Let's see it. Standing in an eagle. I really hope that'll work. Attack underway. What? I was behind that rock. Yeah, it'll kill you even if so, so you know. Don't sweat it too much. It's just how it is. So when I see a cannon turret, I just take it out straight away with my. Uh... Ooh, that's okay. Yep, I'm gonna get rid of it. Requesting air support. Requesting air support. Uh, hopefully, it still hits. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, sending in a shield gen. That works. Oh, close. Ooh, spicy! Hey, I didn't die. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I think y'all got it. back up to help you guys I see it oh I see a tank too okay everything should be down spicy rocket boy Okay. That crate has not been looted. Not dead. Just a little more. I'll make it. Woo! Woo! Okay. What up? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. There's a jammer, shit. Yeah, there you go, Devastator. How you like that? Oh, there's no jammer. Sorry, it's Ion Storm. I'm glad you're loving this build in here. Yeah, sure, Chanel. If you think you're ready. Package acquired. Dropping package. Let's 
As long as you've been watching the streams and practicing, you know, I'm not gonna say no. Sorry, I'm gonna call in a resupply because I'm desperate for stims. That guy's having the time of his life on the uh <laughs> Do you know he's dropping packages? Package mm. Didn't know that bro. Dropping package. Sorry for double dipping. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that huge automaton base. Let's get those civvies out of here. You're talking about the normal laser cannon, not the quasar cannon, right? The laser is okay, but honestly, I would just recommend auto cannon. Because you just can't beat the auto cannon. Laser's alright, but auto cannon's better. That's the only downside. Everything that the laser cannon can do, the auto cannon can already do and uh, does better. Oh, darn. Bot drop. Well, let's take care of it. I'm calling down a shield. Requesting fortification. Is that awesome? Is it not? I thought I. S it's flares here. Yeah, it is on us. Ooh, that's a tank. Hold on, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's done. Alright. Well, yep, no worries. Reloading. It's all good. All that happened was that I just had to move a little bit. I just got tactically repositioned by your, by the force of your explosion. Hey, he dropped all the packages. What a mad lad. Oh shit, Yuri! Sorry, BBS. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, the grenade got moved to you. I apologize for that. I was trying to throw it away from me and it threw it to you. <laughs> Oh, okay, hold on. He's there, right? Stunning, stunning. Stun grenade out. Shoot him in the face. There we go. Nice. Ooh! Sorry, I thought he was dead. There we are. I keep forgetting that the Hulk Obliterator... Uh, just so you know, at the Evacuate Civilians mission, you know that there'll be a variant of the enemy. Um, so this is for chat. The Hulk Obliterator takes four shots to the face. Not, not two. So please be aware of that. This is the only place that you'll see the Hulk obliterated. It looks like a normal Bruiser Hulk, but it's stronger, tougher, bigger, better, faster. Ooh, yeah. All right. I'll head down. You just got bored of the auto cannon? Sure. I don't think I could ever get bored of the auto cannon. Calling in an eagle. But hey, to each their own, man. If it is your preference, do not let me tell you otherwise. I'm gonna have to rearm the eagle. Come on, engineers, go, 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 go! Uh, guys, 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 I, I'm in. There is horde here, in front. They, they're, they're already staring at me. I'm gonna throw a shield here, and I'm gonna throw some stun grenades on him. I'm gonna start blasting. I'm gonna start moving the sips. Back into my bubble of safety. Thanks. Well, that's true. The laser doesn't take up a backpack slot, so you could use it for that reason, but 
taking out fabricators from a distance is so good. You know, I just can't. I just can't now that I know how to do it with the auto cannon all the time. So yeah, it is useful. It is useful. I have no doubt. But I would never give up the main auto cannon for it because I just don't think it'll fly. Oh. Rocket Devastators are mostly dead. Reloading! Okay. I knew they wouldn't abandon us. Heavy, eat, close. Reloading! Yep. I think the Mortar is okay for defending an objective. I gotta admit, it's- Ooh, it pissed off the tower, didn't it? It pissed off the tower. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. Okay, what we stole? Uh, yes, in a moment. That one, yep. I was waiting for my shield gen to come up so I could, uh... Use it. Another triumph from managed democracy. May liberty guide your safe extraction. Okay. Oh. Okay, nice. tower I can get it but I need to kill the Hulk first ah nice great job great job there's another nice work ah of course devastators right. why wouldn't there be Lovely. Requesting advanced yep. weaponry. I just need a new auto cannon because I'm out of ammo. I can probably kill that turret. Or we can just head out. Oh, I was muted. Yeah, I'm at extraction when you want me to call it in. It'll okay. Take Start calling it in. Right. Plenty of time. so passive aggressive the medicine saying asking me to be inside the extraction radius jesus well, i'd be cranky too if they revoked my sex privileges well true what am i, what am I running without my pistol out Sorry, fam, as you know, the, you should always be running with your uh, pistol out. Makes you faster, saves stamina, better overall. <laughs> Purely aesthetic terminate atmosphere, this sounds pretty swanky. Yeah, if your full group is doing something in particular for like for like a part of the show, that's totally fine. But yeah, there are definitely limitations. So you know, when I when I really need to get shit done, I definitely use auto cannon. He found a place of interest, and he's dead. Yeah, let's call him in here.
And now it's just a normal extraction. Enemy elite, northeast, 100 meters. Huh. I'm sure that'd be the case, track. I think it'd be interesting to have some uh, loadouts that are designed for the memes. Ooh, dear. Ah, wow. Hello, tank. That tank sure liked being spicy. Spicy rocket? Big guy was supposed to be guns. Damn. Requesting air support. I think I see him. I think he's dead. Ooh. I might be dead. Can I stop this tank for a second? Ooh. Get away from the tank. Yep. I was gonna stun and go around, but you know what? That works. ETA T minus ten seconds. This is Pelican One. I have visual on the extraction. Stop here. Equipment. Pelican One landing in progress. Since they blocked off the entrance to our, our base. See you later. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Oh damn. <laughs> complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. I know, right, Paul? Liberty has seen you through. Um, a team synergy mechanic. I think if they add that, it may create toxicity. Like, people will be kicked for not bringing the right loadout, which I think is not the right way to go. So, yeah. Arc Thor with Arc Armor can be pretty cool, chat. I do like that kind of formation. Um, but there are some things you won't be able to deal with, so... Like, that's why, that's why, like, my favorite formation is two autocannons, two Arc Thors. I think that that one works swimmingly. Sorry, were you about to say something? You think that, uh... Hmm? I think that the chatter was talking about like a coherency mechanic like in Dark Tide. I don't think so. I think it would be more like d different people bringing certain builds and loadouts, but that would make certain builds like, uh, you know, like you have to build this. So what I'd rather do is like maybe a sort of, a sort of like a minor character enhancement system. Like you could enhance a character in different ways. Like that would be cooler and add some variation. But definitely not like a uh, synergy type thing <laughs> where like sure. somebody has to bring an auto cannon and somebody has to bring a like quasar or recoilless because that might create like you know like if somebody doesn't bring it and then or, or rando wants to play their build then they can't because all the other three people may kick them you see so yeah and i definitely don't think coherency would be a good idea that's a dark type thing definitely not for this mm -hmm. i mean we kind of already have it Always True. Good to have another hero on board. All the enhancements. Well, but there's tagged the armor. I mean, like, maybe a personal character Ally enhanced, but I, it could create some interesting squadron. synergies, like, with what we use for the armor, uh, uh, like, could match with what we use, or, like, they could mismatch it and, like, do something different with the character. No, I meant the stamina help optimization. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, those are boosters, you know, that benefit the whole team. Like, maybe I was thinking something more along the lines, like, something I could customize for me as the diver. But, I mean, there's a lot of different variation options that we could do. All of it, all of it interests me, so additional stuff is always good. You should have picked Mercy, you should have picked any kind of support, right, JW? I, I wouldn't want to see that here. Vitality Booster, does it help with debuffs and souls? No, it just improves the amount of hits you can take. Basically, it improves overall hit points, essentially. 
And yes, it, the game already punishes you for separating. There is kind of a coherency mechanic because when you're more than 75 meters apart, additional patrols will spawn, that kind of thing, and head toward the independent soul, but, you know, oh well. All right, ladies and gents, that brings us to the end of the stream. Thank you guys so much for checking it out today. Um, as you guys know, the next part of the war is Ubenea. So, to seize one of our planets. concentrate we your efforts on Ubenea. I know a lot of people still want to be on Malevolent Creek. There's still 57,000 people sweating it out on Malevolent Creek. They all need to come to Ubenea. Then we'll take Tibet and we're clear. So, by tomorrow, we should have Ubenea. And if you don't mind, guys, help me out a little bit. Okay, you see his hand? Reach through your computer and use your hand to slap all the people on Malevolent Creek. Tell them that we can take it afterward. Like, homies, could they could they kindly focus? You know, focus their eyeballs. But anyway, we'll see, all right? See you guys on Ubenea, mm -hmm. and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Y'all have a good one. See you later. <laughs>